This is based on Adam Lally's opening statements in the Karen Reed case. John O'Keefe grew up in Braintree and had a very close-knit family. He took on the parental role for his niece and nephew after his sister Christine and her husband Stephen passed away in 2013. John was a Boston police officer. After his sister's death, he moved to Canton with his niece and nephew, transitioning to a desk role to better manage his new family. In 2018, they moved into a new home in Canton. Incident Overview January 28, 2022, John, Karen, and some friends went to C.F. McCarthy's Bar and the Waterfall Bar and Grill in Canton, Massachusetts. The next day, John was found dead outside a residence after a blizzard. He had sustained head injuries and hypothermia. Karen Reed, who was at the scene, allegedly admitted to hitting John. His death involved combination of head trauma and exposure to severe weather conditions. The trial features numerous witnesses, including family, friends, police officers, and medical experts. The evidence includes surveillance footage, phone records, and forensic analysis, linking Reed to the scene and to the injuries sustained by John. Karen Reed is now charged with murder in the second degree and vehicular manslaughter. She is accused of striking John with a car and leaving him to die in harsh weather conditions. The summary is based on Adam Lally's opening statements. This is the summary of the defense opening. Karen Reed was wrongfully accused of killing John O'Keefe. It is suggested that she was framed by individuals with strong connections to law enforcement who live at 43 Fairview Road, the location where John's body was found. The defense criticizes the investigation's quality and accuses the investigators of tunnel vision, focusing solely on Karen due to her lack of connection within the Canton Police Department, unlike the well-connected Albert family. On January 29, 2022, John O'Keefe was found mortally injured on the front lawn of Brian Albert's house, a site central to the case. Despite multiple individuals present at the scene, notably first responder Brian Albert, no immediate aid was rendered to John. The defense points out the conflicts of interest among the Canton police necessitating the takeover of the investigation by the Mass State Police. However, issues persisted with the state police handling of the case, particularly involvement of Detective Michael Proctor, who allegedly had personal links to the Alberts. Accusations are made against the lead investigator, Michael Proctor, for being biased and unprofessional, specifically targeting Karen and ignoring other potential suspects and evidence. The defense claims the evidence, such as part of a taillight and other critical item, items, were planted or manipulated to frame Karen. The defense presents alternative timelines and eyewitness accounts, suggesting other parties could have been involved or that John O'Keefe was not present on the lawn at the times alleged by the prosecution. Discrepancies in the timing of certain events and evidence collection are highlighted with the accusations that the lead investigator falsified reports and failed to conduct a thorough examination at the scene or in the Albert household. The defense argues that Karen Reed did not have the motive or opportunity to commit the crime as portrayed by the prosecution. They suggest due to poor investigation practices and preconceived biases, Crucial evidence was overlooked or mishandled, pointing towards framing Karen rather than a fair investigation. That is a summary based on David Unetti's opening statements. <laughs>